everyone. So this video, I'm going to talk about how I've kept my skin acne free. Um, it's a really tender subject for me because um, I've done a lot of videos on my acne and how I keep it clean. I've done skincare reviews, um, I've also done makeup routines, and I've done like some of my favorite um, acne free products and expensive acne free products. Um, so this is a video specifically on how I keep my skin acne free. Um, this is how I've been maintaining my skin. Um, it's more or less what products have been contributing to my skin being so clear. Um, one of it is a really big, important um, lifestyle diet change that I um, talk about. Another, and the rest of them are just pretty much just products that I've been using that's been keeping my skin really clear. So if you want to see my skincare routine, I have a nighttime version one. I'll link that below or somewhere here. Um, that's my current skincare routine, and a lot of these products will be in there, but. A few extra ones aren't. I'm also going to do a morning routine for my skincare, but I haven't done that one yet, so stay tuned for that. But this video is really going to be more or less how I keep my skin acne free and clear. So let's just get started before I ramble on even more. So to first start off with, I'm going to talk about how I've changed my diet to help my, improve my skin. Now a few of you may have already heard about this, but I've actually stopped drinking milk. Um, now that's just regular milk, milk that comes from cows is what I mean. I still drink almond or soy milk. This is my favorite soy milk. It's from a local store we have here called HEB and in Texas. And this is called soy milk light in vanilla. I also really like almond milk, but right now this is the one I've been drinking. And the reason why I can still drink milk is because this one is obviously from soybeans and almond milk is from almonds. Um, I don't drink any kind of cow milk or, or heavy um, yogurt or cottage cheese or anything that's really, really high in dairy. Um, mainly because what's cow milk, now, okay, I don't know how to start this, but what, the way I heard about it was from Dr. Oz. Um, I don't really watch Dr. Oz a lot, but um, he does a lot of interesting videos and you know shows, and my father tends to watch them a lot, so he always tells me something if it's like about acne, because it's hard to explain this, but to first start off with, cows are mammals, humans are mammals. Cows um, that produce milk are hormonal cows, pregnant cows. Um, they, If they're not pregnant, the farmers will, will tend to sh um, fill them up with, like inject them with hormones to make their bodies think that they're pregnant, which is how they produce milk. So any of the milk you drink from those cows that are full of hormones, um, because they're mammals and because we are mammals, the hormones um, are able to, I guess, react in our bodies as well. So if we drink the milk from those hormonal cows, the hormones in our bodies will react to that and sometimes you will get you know, cystic acne or intense acne on your skin. And actually I think I read somewhere in one of the, I'll put a lot of articles I found this information on below just if you want to do some, some of your own research, but I'll put the links below. But some of the ones that I have found said that um, I think like 80% of kids or teenagers that drink milk had acne and those that didn't or were lactose intolerant didn't have any kind of you know, cystic or intense acne. So um, that really triggered something in me and got me to thinking about how I was drinking milk and how I, you know, still had cystic acne even though I was taking birth control and even though I was doing really good things for my skin, I was still getting those really large cystic acne um, pimples. So what I did is I actually did like a little tester and I stopped drinking milk entirely. Like I stopped drinking anything with heavy milk, like I said, yogurt, um, cottage cheese, sour cream, and of course no dairy whatsoever, like no milk from cows. Um, so I did that and my skin got incredibly clear. I mean, it was insanely clear. I put a picture of it. Um, here somewhere, and or somewhere here. And uh, my skin was super clear. And it was just amazing how clear my skin had become by just not drinking milk. And so I wanted to see if it was just the milk or if maybe it was just a fluke and I just started getting good, good skin. So I drank a couple of glasses of milk with my cereal and maybe drank a couple with some Oreos or whatever. And then a few days later, I want to say about like four or five days later, I got really huge cystic welts on the side of my cheeks. And I'll put the picture here. So it was a really cool experiment for my skin, but it gave me acne. And so it really just showed that because I was drinking milk that came from cows, I was breaking out. And that was the one thing that had changed in my diet, the one thing that had actually changed that I could say contributed to that acne. 
to this day, I don't drink any uh, milk from cows. I don't drink anything from sour cream. Pretty much anything that's has from that comes from cows. Um, so now I just drink soy milk or almond milk, um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, but that is one of the biggest things I can say has contributed to my skin becoming so clear. Um, I've actually started talking to other people about it, and um, they themselves have noticed that it's changed their skin dramatically by just stopping to drink milk. So if you drink a lot of dairy products right now and are still getting cystic acne, I would say to try out to stop, just try stop drinking anything um, dairy. Switch over to almond milk or soy milk, and see. You'll probably like those better because I think that they taste better to me. Uh, but just try it out and see how you like it. You're more than likely going to find that the cow's milk um, is going is, is actually breaking you out. So um, I would say it takes about a week or two to actually see results for your skin to clear up. Um, that's what I've noticed myself. My skin cleared up dramatically within the next couple of weeks after I stopped drinking the milk. Um, so yeah, I, that is like the biggest, biggest thing I can tell you that's helped keep me acne free. So moving on to products that I use to keep my skin clear. The first thing is one of this, one of another really large new thing to me that I've been using and absolutely love, and that is this. I have to have it in a little Ziploc bag here, but this is the um, this is the Sheer Moisture African Black Soap with Shea Butter. So I'll put it a little. I'll show you guys it here. But what this is, is for acne prone and troubled skin. It's actually a black bar of soap. So you can see here, it's just a plain black bar of soap, which is strange. It actually lathers in black. So it's kind of like a grayish color, which is very weird. I mean, why would you want to put this on your face? But again, I saw on Dr. Oz where he talked about this, and there's a clip, I'll probably find the clip and put it below, to where he talks about this for um, your skin. And what actually makes the soap black is the plantains. They're um, kind of like ripe plantains, and I'll read the thing to you. It says, African black soap made from palm ash, tamarind extract, and plantain peels has been used in Africa for centuries to treat eczema, acne, oily skin, psoriasis, and other skin elements. Combined with the healing and hydrating properties with shea butter, shea butter, this healing soap should be used daily to balance and resolve problem skin. I can say 100% this is one of the biggest things that's contributed to my skin becoming so clear. I still use my Clarisonic and my Effaclair um, face wash from La Roche Posay together, but I only use those two when I have like makeup on. Like when I'm using, I use those to kind of cleanse off all the makeup. But in the morning when I'm not, you know, wearing any makeup, I'm just gonna wash my face before I put anything on. I'll use this soap just with my hands. And the great, the, the great tip I can give you guys is because it's so large, you don't really need. Um, to use the whole bar, um, just kind of cut. I have like little indentions here of where I've cut. So what I did, I just cut one sliver off, and that's lasted me for about a month and a half. So this bar of soap you can find at CVS or uh, Walgreens, where I got it, and at Target. And this bar um, is about $4.99. So this will last you for a very long time, and it's so inexpensive. It's insanely cheap. Of how it's just so insane how great this product is and how inexpensive it is. Um, so yeah, I've been loving this African black soap. I can't believe I never used it before. I heard about it, but I never actually used it. And a lot of the girls that I know um, actually talk about it, and they all just started ra raving about it this one moment, and I was like, okay, what is this? What are you talking about for your skin? What is this? I need to know. And they, aren't start started to, um, they all started to explain to me like this was the best soap they've used, and it just cleared up their skin so well. And I, like, I, like I said, this is amazing. Definitely try it out. Once again, it's a sheer moisture African black soap with shea butter from Sheer Moisture. So moving on to other products, one of the biggest things that I love to use when I um, actually have an open cystic acne, because I tend to pick sometimes, I know it's not good to pick, but sometimes I do, and it's just really hard for me to resist. So when I do pick and there's an open sore, what I use is tea tree oil. Now, I've done a lot of videos on this and talked about this a lot, but this is the Dela Cruz tea tree oil. It's 100% pure and natural tea tree oil. Um, I am pretty much almost done, I only have like a, a third of it left, but this is amazing stuff here, let me show you. Um, what I use this with is a cotton ball, I mean, uh, what I use this with is a cotton tip, like those little cotton um, ear cleaners, and I just stick the cotton nub into the bottle, and then I just put that on top of the open cystic pore, um, and what that does is it kind of helps 
um, clean it out. What tea tree is, is a natural antiseptic, so it actually helps heal the skin really nicely. Um, so if you have an open wound, you can use tea tree oil, even if it's like a, a, a scrape or a cut, you can use tea tree oil and it'll help clean off all the bacteria. So that's what I use it for whenever I have an open um, pimple or open cystic um, acne. I use the tea tree oil to just clean it all out with. This may not become a shock to you because everybody loves Michael Todd, but I really, really love these. I'm pretty much almost done with these products, and I started using them when my skin um, was really bad, and then my skin has drastically cleared up. Not only because of the milk thing and because of the um, African black soap, but also because of these two products. Now, I've talked about these in my nightly skincare routine, um, which I use them at night all the time, and I love them. But just to rephrase, this one is the Michael Todd Organic Lemon with um, a AHA and Dabamine Toner. This exfoliates and firms and improves skin tone and texture for normal to oily and problem skin. I love this stuff. I use this every single night after I wash my face just to tone it. And I can say the AHA, which is the alpha hydroxide, I think it's called that, alpha hydroxide acid, um, yeah. The alpha hydroxide acid really helps resurface your skin. Um, it's one, it's kind of like glycolic acid. What it does is it actually helps produce faster skin cell turnover. So if you have dark spots or acne or flakiness, this will kind of help make it go away faster. Now if you use this too much and you have sensitive skin, this can cause even more flakiness. So I would say watch out if you have really sensitive skin. I fortunately don't have sensitive skin, so it works really well with me. Um, so once again, that's the Organic Lemon Toner by Michael Todd. Um, the other Michael Todd product is the um, Cologne Clay Detoxifying Facial Mask. This is uh, for oily to acne prone skin. Um, the, what I love about this, what I love about this product is how um, intense it is. It's one of those masks that helps pull and draw out any kind of, um, you know, blackheads, whiteheads, anything. This has really helped clear up a lot of my whiteheads around my chin area. I always struggled with having like really congested chin area and this really, really helps with that. Um, I really, really love the Chloe & Clay and this is just really, really great. I love this mask. It's one of my favorite masks to use and you can use it about three times a week if you wanted to. And the last, the last Michael Todd product is the Pumpkin Facial Mask. This is fantastic. This has, um, I think it has the, the glycolic acid. This has glycolic acid in it. So what glycolic acid is similar to the alpha hydroxide acid as it helps renew the surface of your skin but even faster. Um, this is really intense. I definitely do not recommend this if you have sensitive skin. It will make you peel. Um, but I have really intense oily skin so it works really well with me. And this is one of the masks that I use, the pumpkin mask. This is one of the ones I use when my skin is being incredibly dry and just like just just shedding all the like spots. Um, Especially when you use really intense acne treatment products, um, it kind of dries out the spot and leaves like a bunch of like just dry patchy stuff. So when I have that, I use a pumpkin mask and it once again just kind of resurfaces my skin and just clears it all up and makes my skin more smoother, which is what I love. Um, next is another alpha hydroxide product. I've actually started using this recently, but I really, really love the results with it. This is a Studio 35 alpha hydroxide face cream. This is pretty much all alpha hydroxide acid. This is 8% alpha hydroxide acid and 70% solution. So what this basically is, is an alpha hydroxide cream. Um, this is going to help make your skin shed a lot of dry patches, a lot of, you know, anything that's really, really bothering you for it's just amazing. Once again, if you have incredibly sensitive skin, you may not want to use this all the time. I use this almost every other night, um, and I use it underneath my serum. I really, really love this product. This has really helped with kind of removing that first layer of skin. And that's pretty much what it's all about. Having really great skin is about keeping your skin nicely and exfoliate. You don't want to over exfoliate, so I always make sure to space out all of these intense exfoliators since most of them are full of the alpha hydroxide or the glycolic acid. What I tend to do is space them out. I don't use them back to back because that can over exfoliate your skin. And if you do over, over exfoliate your skin, your skin will break out because it's freaking out. So um, you don't want to overuse these kind of products with like, this, like all the acids. You want to use them every other day. So what I tend to do is I tend to do one, like one, one intense one, one night, and then just relax my skin and not do one the next and then do it again. So I always leave time for my skin to relax and I don't wear makeup all the time too. So it's really important not to wear makeup all the time because that will congest your, make your skin more congested. So I tend to go days without wearing makeup um, 
maybe at least three times a week I don't wear makeup and that's usually the days where on the weekends where I'm not really working or doing anything um, so I just leave those days for just a skin clear day and it's actually become a lot more nicer because my skin has cleared up a lot more I'm a little bit more um, I don't know I'm a little bit I, I let myself not wear makeup and I'll feel less I feel less uncomfortable because my skin has become really clear and nice so you can find this at um, Walgreens um, it's really inexpensive about $8.99 and it's a humongous tube or vat of um, product so you really only need a little bit so this will last you forever so it's really great I love this stuff once again it's the studio 35 alpha hydroxide face cream I'll list all of these products below and I'll also try to find them and put them on my Lavrocacy page if you haven't if you haven't trusted me on Lavrocacy please do I really want you guys to see all these products they're so much easier to get a, get a hold of because on Lavrocacy you can just pretty much um, just click it and buy it right there so I'll put the link for that Lavrocacy page below too and all the products will be there as well. So next is another Studio 35 product. This is one I use in the morning. This is um, really similar to the Aveeno Positively Radiant Lotion. Um, I think it's really important to use a, a sunscreen when you're using all of these um, alpha hydroxide and glycolic um, acid um, chemicals. Because all these chemicals are, once again, creating faster skin cell turnover and re releasing a lot of the pigmentation um, you want to use something, a moisturizer throughout the day with an SPF. I highly, highly cannot stress anymore that you need to use a sunscreen when you go out. Because all these products are peeling at your skin, you need to protect it. If you don't protect it, you're just exposing your skin to the sun and it's harmful rays and you're going to probably get sun damage and that will cause pigmentation and you're going to be just redoing it all over again. So. Try to find pro a, a face cream, a daily face cream, or a, you know, a foundation that has an intense SPF in it throughout the day if you're going to be outside. Even if you're only going to go outside for like five minutes to get the mail, still wear a sunscreen. So I use the Radiant Facial Moisturizer with SPF 15, which isn't a lot, but I don't go outside for that often. So I And I usually use a foundation that has an SPF. So I, I try to use at least something. So this is the... Um, Radiant Facial Moisture by Studio 35. It's at Walgreens brand and it's comparable to the Avena Positively Radiant Lotion. It's just a lot cheaper and it's it's just a lot saves a lot more money to get these products. They're pretty much the same as the brand name products. One of the last products I want to talk about is how I keep my skin um, free from a lot of like pigmentation and tone. Um, what I really, really been loving is this Neutrogena Rapid Tone Repair Moisturizer. I absolutely love this. This is the nighttime version, but I highly recommend the morning time because it has SPF 32, so that will help protect your skin. The fantastic thing about this is it has incredibly great products. It has retinol, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin C. Um, these are one of the, these are three really important products to help remove a lot of pigmentation. The retinol, once again, will help fat, speed and up the and fasten the skin cell turnover, so it'll help kind of shed a lot of dead skin faster. The hydro, hyaluronic acid will help pull moisture from from the air and keep your skin feeling ten times more hydrated and more softer and supple. And the vitamin C will help remove a lot of pigmentation, like smaller. Um, pigmentation marks. Um, this is amazing. If you haven't tried this moisturizer and you have pigmentation, you need to go out to Walgreens or CVS or Rite Aid or Walmart and buy this product. I'll put a, a link below once again. All the links will be below. But this is the Neutrogena Rapid Tone Repair Moisturizer. This is a lifesaver. Ever since I've been using this, my skin, all the pigmentation and everything has drastically improved. My clarity, my tone is just 10 times more amazing. I think another great thing about this is because of the packaging. Um, when you buy retinol products, always make sure you're checking out the packaging. Anytime retinol is exposed to any small amount of light, it loses its nutrition, um, its nutrients. So the great thing about this packaging is that it is glass. So everything is, all the chemicals and all the ingredients and nutrients are still intact when you use them. So high five or thumbs up, Neutrogena, you guys did an awesome job. Love this product. So that's pretty much it for my um, acne free, skin clear, everything perfect skin products and rave. Um, I, once again, I highly recommend all of these products. They will all be on my Lavrocracy page and they will also be linked below um, on the Lavrocracy page and I'll probably list them as well. Um, I cannot stress that these products have drastically improved my skin and so like I've said, this is amazing stuff. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely try out to, to 
stop drinking milk um, and see how that re how your skin reacts to that. I think it will drastically change your skin and your life like it has for me. Um, I just cannot believe how I never thought of that before. Um, it just it makes so much more sense when you think about it that all the hormones that are in those cows' milk and when you drink them and consume them become a part of your body and can re make your body react to it the same way and so it will give you a lot of acne and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was um, really, really helpful for me and I hope it was help helpful for you. Um, thanks so much for watching guys. Um, don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe if you aren't. I'm so happy that I reached over 5,000 which is such a big deal for me because I just can't believe that at least these people who are watching these videos, I don't know, understand what I'm talking about and are so excited to see me I guess. Um, so that's really, really happy and that makes you really happy and also dyslexic um, and um, yeah so I will probably be doing a giveaway pretty soon like I said in my skincare or my nightly skin routine I will be doing a bit uh, I will be doing a giveaway soon so watch out for that and I will probably be giving away some of these products too because I love these so much and I want you guys to love them too and sometimes it's harder for people to get a hold on something so I will be probably doing a giveaway on most of these products here because they're just my all-time favorite products. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like I said, I will see you in the next video. Bye!